All right, so anybody who's working on a VR6 3.6 liter, uh, it runs FSI. Uh, this is the FSI injector. There's a short side of the head and a non-short side of the head. Um, I wanted to show the problem that I'm running into. On the long side of the head, or as I just called it, the non-short side, this is your typical FSI injector. You'll see that it's two parts. and it goes all the way into the head on the far side, just like this, right? It goes all the way in there, you push it in there, and that's how you score it into the cylinder. But if you try to pull them out, this has happened to two of the cylinders. If you look inside, you'll see there's a little clip in there. I don't know if it's there. That little clip with the O-ring, that's bad. And that little clip with the O-ring, that's bad. And then the one that was successful, it goes all the way down without issue. And of course, there we go, without issue. So, when you pull out, again, this is a short FSI injector. This is what happens when you pull it out and you'll notice that the C-clip, or the clip that holds the two halves together, no, you had it right, uh, the two halves together didn't go with it. So, I looked online, I couldn't find any video about this, so this is gonna be me attempting to show you. This is what we wanna pull out and I don't have a stand, but uh, if there's a way for me to show this, the long story short is this clip right here in the middle, the sh sh little silver shiny clip just pulls right out and you'll see that there's a little ring here that slides into the seat of that clip to hold the top, this short part with the long part. But I used the official tool and it still came out with the clip stuck inside the head. So this is going to be how you get this, that clip outside of that head. One thing I wanted to point out here before you start trying to jab this, this longer side back in to this clip side, uh, when you take this clip off, and literally it's just a snap, it's, I don't know what you want to call it, I'd call it a snap ring. It only goes on one way, uh, I guess maybe two ways, right? So you take this top part off and it just slides out. I'm twisting and sliding, and now you can see how that, that those are supposed to hold the two together. But here's what I wanted to point out. You'll notice on the short round that's stuck inside the head, if I could show it to you, probably not, but I'll try. Nope, it doesn't let me. How about now? Uh, you'll notice that there's two contact points on it, right? These correspond with the contact points that are on the long side injector. Uh, again, I'll try to make it work. I'm not holding my breath. Oh, I've changed the color here. Great. Um, what is it with cameras and autofocus? It's so freaking annoying. Anyways, there's a hole right here that lines up with those pins, and, it, and there's a little O-ring, a little rubber O-ring on the pins, and they have to join up with that hole, and they're actually kind of hard to push in, but that's supposed to create the seal, and then the clip, uh, it's it is uh, toothed or whatever, cut out so uh, the injector part goes on first on the bottom that links the two parts together, the short and the round, and then it snaps in and now it's one whole piece. So before you go trying to jam it in there, realize there is electrical contact on this side that you do have to line up. Okay, so the only answer that I've come up with for this problem is pretty much to flip the head over and punch it out with the tools uh, that you use to put the seals back on. So like these fit in here and you can find out the angle in which to tap and you only tap lightly, right? So I plan to show you, I have an injector here that's still stuck, uh, but you wanna make sure you're tapping at an angle, right? So if you go, if you try to tap it like this, it won't work. And they are different angles on the, on the side of the, the head, right? So if I go to this short side, you'll see that it goes into a much flatter angle than if I go on the long side of the head, which is like this. So you want to try to match that here, lightly tap, but don't tap so hard this gets stuck. If you, can, if you do, it can get pulled out with pliers. But if you get to the point where you're starting to go in, just take the smaller one of the two, which, there we go. Once it starts to move, you could probably just start with this if you want, but I don't like this because the injectors are right there and I don't want to put too much, the sprays. 
on the injectors are right there and I don't want to put too much um, I don't want to put too much pressure right on where the injectors spray not that it's gonna let me show you there we go these are dirty as all hell but I don't want to bung anything up there so that's why I pick the long one here or the wide one there and then when it starts to move and again this is light tapping that I'll show you in a second um, and then I move to the thinner one if the head was still on the car my recommendation is <laughs> it's too late now if you're probably watching this video but I spray a little water resistant silicone lubricant into the cylinder before I did this to just get things moving uh, I couldn't figure out how to pull it out you would need like I have a 90 degree pick here but you don't want to score up the head inside the cylinder where the injector is this is short though so um, you know you, you might need a longer one I think you could find some at Harbor Freight uh, but let's go ahead and try to show you all right so again I'm matching this is the, the this is what you use to put the, the FSI seals back on and I'm matching that pattern I don't know if it's in there I showed it in the previous part of the video and I'm just gonna try to match it and I'm lightly tapping this is a light tap and then once it starts to move which it's already starting I can feel a little bit right I don't know if you can see it on camera but it's already moved a little bit right so I'm continuing to tap I'm just loosening up that seal there's still enough wiggle room in here that I know I have a little bit more room to go okay it's gone I now I'm going to switch, and you should hear it drop out of the cylinder. I'm switching to the smaller one uh, in the kit here. And there you go. You just heard it fall through. So, again, I don't know how you do this with the head still on the car. I couldn't figure out how to get, how to pull it out, and I'll show you here. I couldn't figure out how to pull it out with the C-clip installed. So this is the half right here, and that stupid clip on there is the reason couldn't show you but I showed you in the previous part of the video so there you go